Breaking news, everybody! Red as well. It's oh. the end of the world if you're a Liverpool fan. Ha ha! Ah, 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 ah. Though we say this, Tom, we laugh and joke, but actually it's the beginning of a new dawn because Jurgen Klopp has announced that he is leaving Liverpool FC at the end of the year. Now, this don't, might come as a surprise. Don't you think it's really weird timing? It is a bit odd. Yeah. Also... Or is it to galvanise them for the rest yeah, of the season? Yeah, but there's an added extra pressure doing that. Yeah, because now it's like they're, nah, they're, they're top of the league and like oh, could run away with it. Quad, they're on for the quad. Well, yeah. but did Ferg, Fergie announced it like because he stayed on an extra season longer, didn't he? Aye, aye, when man. he didn't I'm win not, the title, I can't remember Fergie. I think he planned on doing it, but then they lost out to City in that yeah. season, and then he stayed an extra one. Yeah, you might be right. It is a bit bizarre timing, isn't it? Really, like surely you just bow out when he wins a trophy at the end of the season. I think there's been a fallout. He's still young as well. Oh, explain your reasoning. I think I've got two theories. Come he's on. either met with the owners and they said they're not spending big money in uh, the summer because he's been moaning the last few weeks and he's saying Shut. we can't compete with like, Newcastle, City, uh, PSG. He said there's <laughs> three clubs in the what? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's bollocks. But also, what I've just seen is in 2019. <laughs> Here he's coming here with he's yeah. got the stuff. In 2019, Jurgen Klopp said he would quit Liverpool in an interview if the club signed up for a fly on the wall documentary oh. and recently uh, Paul I don't, know if, I don't know how legit this is full story from Dave Powell Liverpool owners Fenway Sports Group are in talks over creating a fly on the wall documentary with Amazon Prime or something like that not Netflix. sure not sure but that could be a reason I also think Salah well we, we were told we, that the Salah might be going in the summer as well weren't we the other day Was so yeah. hang about no, here so you're telling me I Tom. think it's just kind of crumbling it's, 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 look all things must come to an end at some point yeah. do you think this was just a turning point of maybe there's a, a documentary coming yeah. Salah's leaving yeah. maybe he just thinks you know what my time is up my time is now the lack of money <laughs> Is he Eminem? You can't. He... Oh, no, that's John Cena. Oh, oh, is this because you met John Cena? I didn't say that. <laughs> you said that. Um, but I think there are two standout options who would replace him, right? Alonso. It's destiny, isn't and it? And who do you think the other one is? Maybe Deserby. I like Deserby for it as On well. Tuchel? Nah. Uh, he's just building this whole thing with Bayern now. Like, but he's in because they... they... I don't know. Yeah, mate, no, it's got to be Jabby Alonso. They strike me as a Mourinho. They strike me as a team who would go for <laughs> that would suit Liverpool. Yeah, they strike me as a team who would go for like a more of a long term manager who I don't for think too sure. I, I might... could see Klopp going to Madrid and Alonso going to Liverpool. Not I can't. Klopp said. I think Klopp's gonna. He said chill he's out. tired. Yeah. He's gonna chill out and maybe do Germany after the Euros. Or so on the video, he's... United. He was saying how tired he was, though. So, like, it, it would suggest international management, where oh, it's a little tired, less chiller. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Play too many too games. Many games. <laughs> that's it. He's, throw, he's spat out his dummy because he didn't get what he wants. And now I, he's do, I, I am sad he's leaving, him. though. He, he has done a really good it, job. And he's good for the Premier League. He's entertaining. But do you know what I also think? Office. I actually think this could be a catalyst for maybe Pep to leave in the next couple years. Possibly. I think maybe... Because you know how Wenger and Fergie pushed each other, I do mm. sort of think they have mm. over the past years pushed each other. Yeah. And in a couple of years, it might just accelerate Pep's chance and likelihood of leaving City. If that makes sense, oh. is, that, is that weird? To, is yeah, that weird no, to we, so we all no, understand what you We only have one more Klopp versus Pep left, then. Isn't yeah. it? Oh God, Unless what are they going to the do this time? Fucking bum each other on the side. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <'cause laughs> there, there, would be, there, would be, there would be children watching. Is, what, it was Klopp the biggest dickhead manager the Premier League's okay, ever that's seen. That's a bit oh, hard. No, no, I'm sorry. He came in and he was be, he was always complained, always mourned. Whenever he didn't get things his own way, he was like too many games. That's what comes with being at a top hey, level. Hey, oh, I can't hey. like that about him though. I know. I it like him. If he's dickhead. your manager, yeah, you, you love it. I agree. Yeah. You've got a douchebag on your team. Okay, he's your douchebag. Douchebag. This clip is brought to you by Super 6 a Super 6 is here which means a massive £250,000 jackpot is up for grabs this weekend but you've got to be in it to win it and remember it's completely free to play you can also compete against myself Reeve and Theo in the official pitch side mini league the code to join that is PTCH23 we're also giving away a £100 classic football shirt voucher if you top the round so get over to the app or the Super 6 website and simply predict 6 correct scores and 250 smackaroonies could be yours. It's completely free to play. Get involved. No, let me, let me be clear. Like I'm sad he's leaving because I like having someone who's a dickhead in the league. Same with Bruno. Oh, so Fernandes. now you are sad. I thought you had well, Bruno. Like, people like you being on this podcast. Like you're yeah, exactly. you're you're our dickhead. <laughs> yeah, I'm the clop on pitch side. I wouldn't go that far, mate. Okay. It's, um, it is an end of an era, though. It's quite. It is a bit it's sad. Massive. I mean, I everyone's talking about it. It's Liverpool massive. fans genuinely feel like they've just like broken up a long term relationship. Like my yeah. mate Luke is actually crying at home. 
So will they like be, so is this like, they're going to have a few rebounds and that and just like. Oh, is this, oh, is this. It could the, be, it could be like their downturn. What, so next year Liverpool finish so next night? year, like they're going out every week, fucking. No, I'm not going to get it anyway. <laughs> well, if you, get away Salah, Yalta's stepping up, isn't he? Who? Yalta. Oh. Do you know what though? No, it's like when Fergie left Man United, they've never rebounded properly. No. I it's think like, he, was be... he was smart when he left when he did though. You could tell. That's that's why I think maybe that's why Klopp's in. He knows they're not. They haven't got enough money to spend. But Salah's probably leaving. I think yeah, he kind of knows Tom, it's coming. Yeah, but to even an end. without Salah, they still look a force to be reckoned. They, it's not like they've got a terrible score. Their score's unreal. Their, no, know, their new midfield is doing very well. They're, they're going to do well. They got a fantastic defense. Van Tyke's return to his form. Trent's playing out of his game. Van Allison's arguably the best. Allison's arguably the best keeper in the world. Yalta's scoring. No, Darwin Nunes is starting. Without but, Salah, they can't compete with City. Do you have other players jumping ship now? If Klopp leaves. Possibly. They've been working with them all That's these years. A, a new player's going to be more eager to sign with Klopp gone and like Alisson might fancy yeah. it as well. Just That's fuck another off. reason. Alisson yeah. to Real to replace Courtois in the future. Van Dijk to the Albion after winning the FA Cup and get promoted. <laughs> <laughs> Will that happen? Yeah. How about, how about, right, Southgate doesn't win Euros, gets sacked. Klopp to I wouldn't mind Klopp. But yeah, I wouldn't mind Klopp. Ah. Uh, I think I think he definitely doesn't retire because he said he was too tired, but he's not. Didn't say maybe he's retiring. He need, maybe he just needs like a year holiday. Or, or, or don't buy it. International. Going on. It does seem and random. Klopp does seem the type to be like, "Fuck you, then I'm leaving." But that is a bit of a savage way to go, though. Isn't but it? he's savage, isn't he? Yeah, I guess so. And I think he's had so many years of okay. Liverpool have spent money, but and they did try and spend 100 mil on Caicedo. But in fairness, he has done a. He's had a more limited budget than the rest of teams. He has, and he has done it. I think he's probably, he's probably tired of having to swindle and work with a limited, what's yeah. the word, Lim a more limited. Yeah, it's, oh, not, it's man, not than the likes of Pep. Do you reckon this is like a Mate, huge? I don't bluff. know about the whole. Li like he spent eighty five million on Darwin, yeah, but a lot of them, a lot of it comes from sales, doesn't it? Like. When they sold, yeah, it's, um, you don't. It's not. We're not acting as if Liverpool are like. No, I'm not oh, saying they so don't spend money, but they don't spend. The, they haven't got the, the the cash flow there ready, like City, even Arsenal. Yeah, but no one. Liverpool tend to have to sell to buy. Yeah, but no one can compete with City. End of. Oh no, I understand that, but he's probably bored of that. Uh, do you reckon this is just like it could be a huge bluff if he's that? If it's been this no, much no, of an no, issue, no, no, no. No, it the, couldn't the, be a nah. turnaround at all at the end nah, of the Liverpool season. Liverpool themselves have announced it. Like, nah, I know, not. but he it, it could surely at the end of the season. Nah, he's going, could be no, 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 no. But I do. I genuinely do think Alonso comes in the summer, and I don't think Liverpool have a drop. Could that'll be good? That'll be good. No, they'll, they'll, yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, look, look, Liverpool fans, that yeah, they feel like they've gone through a harsh breakup. If they get Xabi Alonso as their manager... If they go and win the quad and then get Xabi Alonso... There's also another name we haven't mentioned. Yeah, course. Oh, Jesus. Troy God. Deeney. Stevie G. Troy oh. Deeney. <laughs> Stevie G, man. To be fair, out of, do you know what? Out of all these, like, this generation's, like, retired players m turned into managers, Alonso's the only one who actually looks not shit, isn't it, really? Well, he hasn't lost a game in the league. Yeah, but we, yeah. Said, we thought that about Ten Hag. No, is he sort of? I'm but I feel no, like going really into the Man United really... jobs a way bigger task because Liverpool fundamentally don't really have anything wrong at the moment. True. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah. at United, there's a lot there's of issues. Many, yeah, but yeah, at yeah, Liverpool, yeah. actually, everything's going pretty, pretty good. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Liverpool final season for Klopp. Does he win the league with them? I think they win a trophy. They definitely win one trophy. They'll win the League Cup and they'll they'll win the Europa. The other two, they, they could do the quad. They honestly, now with this, with it being his last season, the way those players and fans love him, I think yeah, they Stop could saying be. Liverpool can do the quad. They though. could, but they could. I, I wouldn't shock me at all. If I still think City will win the league, but yeah. Well, guys, let us know who you think's going to uh, replace Jurgen in the summer.